I'm John Gerard, and we are with Ed Archer from Ed Archer. Hayward, California, and we're looking at a 1915 Ford racing car. Uh, I acquired it in 1967, and I've been having fun with it ever since. Uh, I'm dressed in period attire with the puttees, the leg protectors, the boots, and of course the crash helmet, which is your skull. And, uh, and of course the goggles, we have the goggles that work. So this is a, about a 50 horsepower car. It's got a two-speed planetary transmission, a three-speed selective gear, a two-speed rear axle. Uh, in order to get in the car, raise the steering wheel up, access. Riding mechanics side. There you go, you're ready to race. Got a, this is just the two speed rear axle, speedometer here, tachometer, oil pressure, and that's just air pressure from the oil tank, and, uh, and a gasoline air pressure gauge. And here's a pump on the dash to, uh, to force the oil into the engine. Up on the outside for air pressure for the carburation. Uh, a knob to operate the, uh, the ventilation for the engine. Close them and open them. Got a, a thermometer out there on the uh, top of the radiator, which is called a motometer. When the temperature, when the red temperature in the thermometer goes up too high, you know it's time to stop. I have a spark advance here in retard and uh, a foot accelerator and a hand accelerator. What else? Got a top speed of over 100 miles an hour. Um, not much traction. Two wheel rear brakes that work off the emergency brake handle. Uh -huh, and they were drum brakes, I guess. That's Two real external contracting uh, drum brakes. And uh, I have plenty of brakes. I can lock, lock it up, but I don't have any traction. So, I used to say I don't have any brakes, but no, I got plenty of brakes, it's just that I don't have any traction. Right. So that and pretty then, much covers it. Then, it's a hand crank start. There's no, no starter, so you gotta get out and hand crank it and fire it up. And then, so, what was the weight of the car if it had a 50-horse engine it's to do a a, It's probably about a 1,500-pound car, so we have a good power-to-weight ratio. It's very spunky. When, uh, when I accelerate, it wants to jump. It really wants to go. And this is the, uh, uh, this is the hand, this is the starter right here. These are friction shock absorbers. You just adjust the nut to tighten them up and uh, give, give you a stiffer suspension. And uh, you crank the engine over this way. Holy smokes! And if it's in gear, it'll run over you. Look out! You hope it don't fire. Yeah, it, it pays to take it out of gear before you uh, start cranking. So it isn't a full rotation, it just kicks it up and then it starts to Hey, can we? Yeah. See the inside the engine, or yeah. I saw it in the newspaper this morning. Didn't I? That's what I heard. <laughs> yeah, I haven't seen it, but oh yeah. Hey, they're they're getting hard. Up. I recognize the <laughs> Excuse me. And the car. Excuse yeah, there's me. the yeah, that's pretty video. Neat. Uh, oh, excuse me. Yeah. Go, go ahead. Yeah. I'll make a good job. I just wanted to make sure you were on. Well, I'll get in there, too. Let's see if we can yeah, fire it up. See. I take it that's an overhead? Yes, it is. Did you change that, or that, did they, were they that far advanced it's back then? Yeah, no, it's, that's, what, that's what it was equipped with for racing. Well, I'll be darned. Well, yeah. they were advanced, weren't they? Yeah, they were. And what condition was it in when you got it? Uh, it was pretty rough. And there was a few things missing. Yeah, I... All right. All right. 
Roger. Here we go. Now you got to get the thing out of here. Out of here, yes. So. Parts or when I have to, yes. Yeah. 